So who is in charge of your health? I'm hoping you've got the answer there. I kind of gave you a little secret before we started. So learn about the toxic 12 and all the chemicals that are currently in your home that I bet you didn't even know about. You might even think that, well, I get my stuff at a good store. I buy my stuff from an online source. Have you read the ingredients? It is so imperative and you're going to learn more right now. The story you're about to witness is called the toxic nightmare. It really is a nightmare. Your first reaction will probably be disbelief. It's very likely that in the next few minutes you'll be running into your garages, looking under your sinks, checking out your bathroom cabinets, and reading the labels of your makeup and personal care products. If you have children or grandchildren, all the more reason. So this message is both a warning and an expose. Ask yourself this, why is there such an epidemic of ADHD amongst our children? They can't even concentrate in school anymore. Why are there so many cancers like breast, liver, colon, kidney, and prostate at epidemic levels? Why are birth defects and brain, liver, and kidney disease such national issues? Sinus and asthma problems have also become major health issues. And why are so-called old age illnesses now attacking our children? What's going on? The short of it is that our immune systems are breaking down. Drug companies can't work fast enough to give us remedies to fix our illnesses. The problem is that their remedies often cause side effects that are worse than the illness itself. In the next few minutes, we'll discuss a primary cause of these health issues, and then we'll discuss the solution. We'll even touch on a way to benefit financially by becoming a part of that solution. Let's be specific. We're going to mention some seriously toxic ingredients. We'd like to issue a challenge. Don't take our word on anything. Don't just listen to this message. Make some label comparisons. Then you'll really be shocked. Here's a short list of the top 12 toxic ingredients you'll find in your home. In fact, we call these the toxic 12. We'll talk about five of them in some detail. Once again, check these ingredients against the products you use. First, propylene glycol, butylene glycol, or ethylene glycol. Now run into your garage and check your antifreeze. Antifreeze is one of those glycols. Now, check your facial cleansers, shampoos, conditioners, toothpaste, underarm deodorants, and baby products. These glycols act as surfactants, wetting agents, and solvents. They penetrate the skin fast, weaken protein and cellular structure. They're strong enough to remove barnacles from boats. The EPA warns us not to pour them into our soil, yet we smear them on our bodies. Contact with these glycols may cause brain, liver, and kidney malfunction. Yet, about one-third of all the beauty and personal care products you use morning, afternoon, and evening contain them and do not have a warning label. Why are these glycols used in such abundance? One answer, they come cheap. The non-toxic ingredients needed to replace them are far more expensive. Now propylene glycol is being added to many of our cookies and ice cream. It keeps them softer. You put petroleum in a cookie, and a hundred years from now, it'll be soft and tender. Second, sodium hydroxide. This time, check under your sink. Check out your Drano or other sink and oven cleaners. Especially check the crystal or dry Drano. Crystal Drano is 100% sodium hydroxide. This is a poison. Read the warning label. Look at the skull and crossbones. Yeah, it's caustic soda lime. It, you'll find sodium hydroxide in most common toothpastes, especially the ones claiming total or extra whitening. I guess they figure if it cleans your drains, <laughs> it'll do a good job on your teeth. It's also in many of your soaps and facial cleansers. Third, sodium lauryl sulfate, sodium lauryl sulfate, or ammonium lauryl sulfate. These sulfates are strong detergents. They're used in garage floor cleaners and engine degreasers. Yet they'll be in 90%. Get that. 90% of your beauty and personal care products that foam. Why? It's the cheapest way to create foam. They're linked to eye damage, depression, diarrhea, skin irritation, and even death. Our bodies retain these sulfates for extensive periods of time. This means that even smaller dosages amount up to higher and higher levels of toxicity in our bodies. Think of what that means to smaller bodies, like infants and children. Think of the unborn infants. Any wonder why attention deficit and learning disabilities are at epidemic proportions? Fourth, 
DEA, MEA, or TEA. These are hormone disrupting chemicals with ties to cancer. They're restricted in Europe, yet used freely in the US. The EPA says that repeated applications result in major increases in liver, breast, and kidney cancer. The risk is significantly increased in children. Fifth, PEG, or polyethylene glycol. This is a carcinogenic petroleum compound that reduces the skin's natural moisture. Prolonged use seriously ages the skin. In addition, it has links to all forms of cancer. The higher the PEG content, like PEG 20, 50, 100, or 120, the worse it becomes. Sixth, DMDM, or urea. These are preservatives that release formaldehyde. Seventh, mineral oil. It's another petroleum product that coats the skin like saran wrap. Baby oil is 100% mineral oil. Eighth, triclosan. It's a synthetic antibacterial with a chemical structure similar to Agent Orange. The EPA registers it as a pesticide. Ninth, parabens, or anything that has paraben as part of its name. They are hormone-disrupting chemicals. Tenth, isopropyl alcohol. It ages and dries the skin, promoting wrinkles and brown spots. Eleventh, FD and C color pigments. These are synthetic colors from coal tar. They score the highest mark on the toxic scale. Twelfth, fragrances. They may contain up to 4,000 ingredients. Animal urine is most often used to create the desired smell. Well, those are the toxic 12. There's another 100 or so that should receive dishonorable mention. Additional toxicity information can be found at safecosmetics.org. Check it out. By the way, guess which occupational group has the youngest death rate? You probably guessed it. Cosmetologists. That's obviously due to increased exposure to these chemicals. Just an FYI, lawyers have the next youngest death rate. You can figure that one out for yourself. You might be asking why this is allowed to take place. Easy answer. In 1938, the cosmetic industry was granted self-regulation. Nothing has changed. Since that time, we have 25,000 chemicals marketed without government intervention, regardless of what the tests show. This is probably a good place to warn you about companies who claim their products are safe. They'll tell you not to panic, that they use food grade or cosmetic grade glycols, sulfates, solvents, or parabens. They'll tell you how mild they are and that the critics are going overboard. It's the same thing some said years ago about smoking. Smoking can't hurt you. Smoking's not a threat to health. Well, that certainly wasn't true. A few years from now, additional information will show that these same toxic products cause a threat, just like cigarettes and smoking. Women use nearly 200 toxic ingredients daily in their routine, and men use nearly 100. These toxins, even in mild forms, mount up, stay in our bodies, store in our cells, and break down our immune system. One more thing. Don't get caught up in the word natural. It means almost nothing. Most of these toxins are natural. For heaven's sake, cocaine's natural. Most people still don't know where to buy non-toxic products. It's not like you can go to drug stores or grocery stores or department stores and find replacements. Even the most expensive are often the most toxic. They might come in prettier bottles, but they're just as bad. Companies and products like Hertz, Coke, Xerox, Q-Tip, and Kleenex have become the household names for their entire industry. So I don't know what you guys thought about that, um, but I know I find it extremely disturbing that it's um, something that the industry out there thinks they can get away with, and it's extremely sad that um, for years, I mean, it wasn't really until... Well, I thought I was buying good stuff from a good company starting in 2004, but it was last year or so, I, I was still using some of their stuff that I looked at the ingredients and I'm like, oh my goodness, there's DEA in it or polyethylene glycol. I'm like, are you kidding me? When I thought I was getting stuff from a non-toxic company and that's when I immediately committed to, and it might have been a couple years ago, because I've been using All Young Loving stuff 
exclusively becoming a product of the product for uh, two years now. So it's just frustrating to think that I thought I was getting something good and I just trusted them. I didn't look at the labels. So even though you think you might be getting good product, check your labels. I can guarantee you get it from Young Living. It's safe. You can look at the labels. There is everything is chemical free. So who is in charge of your health? think you're getting the idea. Yep, it is you. So what do we do? Where do we go from here? So products to promote a healthy and well body systems within Young Living. So we have our Thieves line. You'll see we have a foam soap, a uh, purifier, which is better than any sort of antibacterial gel because it purifies your hands. Getting rid of the bad bacteria and leaving the good bacteria, which is essential for our health. We have a Dentrome Plus toothpaste. We also have an Aroma Bright, which I prefer. There's the Thieves Oil, the Thieves Mouthwash, a uh, cleaner, as well as a spray. And we're going to get to in a little bit. There's even more new product that's so exciting. Well, here it is. It's on this page. So the there's now a Thieves Laundry Soap, a Fruit and Veggie Wash, and a Thieves Dish Soap. So let me go over the dish soap real quick. So it's a naturally derived ingredient, Thieves Dish Soap, effectively cleans your dishes without chemicals, dyes, or synthetics. Young Living's Pure Essential Oils, Thieves, Jade, Lemon, and Bergamot are worked with other plant based ingredients to leave your dishes sparkly and clean. Now I can tell you uh, we were told at the convention to avoid putting this into our dishwasher. I don't like to do dishes by hand. I only do it in very rare cases throughout the week because certain things either won't fit in the dishwasher or they're not supposed to be dishwashed. I have figured out a way to use it in the dishwasher. You need about a quarter size drop. That's it in the little dish where you would normally put the uh, dishwasher soap. You don't put, you don't fill both containers, you just, the one that you don't snap shut, the one that's open, you put a quarter size drop in there. And then in your jet try area, remove the cap and fill it full of Thieves Cleaner. Put the cap back on. You will get clean dishes every time. It is amazing. Now let me talk about the Thieves Fruit and Veggie Wash. It is enjoy eating your fruits and vegetables in a natural intended, as nature intended, with Young Living's Fruit and Veggie Combo Pack. Bundled together, our fruit and veggie spray and fruit and veggie soak utilize natural derived ingredients, the cleaning power of thieves. Essential oil blend so effectively wash produce at home or when on the go. So the Thieves Fruit and Veggie Wash is great for single-use servings or when you're, or, or the spray, sorry, is great for when you're away from home. The convenient two-ounce spray bottle fits in your purse, backpack, or carry-on, making it easy accessible. With just a few spritzes, you can quickly and efficiently clean fruits and veggies no matter where you are. So Thieves Fruit and Veggie Soak is a perfect choice for cleaning larger amounts of produce. With the help of Digize, Purification, and Thieves Essential Oil Blends, you can prepare produce for a wonderful meal or a healthy snack. And then finally, the most amazing laundry soap, which I truly enjoy. With the plant-based formula, Thieves Laundry Soap gently and naturally washes your clothes, leaving them truly clean without any chemical or aesthetic residue. Natural enzymes of powerful essential oils add to the formula strength to leave your clothes fresh and clean with a light citrus scent. Thieves Laundry Soap can be in, used in all washes, including high efficiency. It is highly concentrated formula six times, will provide enough 64 loads with just 32 flowing ounces in the bottle. And I have people that are able to use even less. So you would normally use a half cap in a high efficiency use a quarter but I have some people that are able to get away with just using an eighth. Isn't that awesome? So the whole story behind how Thieves Oil was developed is back in the time of the Black Plague there were a series of thieves that were able to go around and rob the dead. Their immune system was so protected they did not contract the plague. So when the king summoned them to find out what it was they were doing in order to keep themselves healthy and well, they told the king that they used a series of herbs with lemon, clove, rosemary, eucalyptus, radiata, and bark, cinnamon bark, soaked them and put them in a cone around their mouth and ears so they constantly 
breathed in these herbs while they went around and robbed the dead. What it had done is that it had supported their immune system enough in order to protect them away from the plague. So there are several products that are available for all of our family members. There's a whole kids line called KidSense, and it has shampoo, conditioner, body lotion, as well as a um, tushy paste, uh, I think it's called Tender Tushies, as well as uh, a whole oils, essential oils line for them, where it's already pre-diluted, ready for application, and more. There's a slew of hair and body products to help support us men and women and also children if they prefer. There's a lavender, there's lavender mint, as well as copaiba vanilla. And I love them. It is amazing how much my hair is, you know, it used to be more dry. It, it's regulated. Like my hair is in a constant state of wellness, which is so nice. And I have friends that have curly hair or oily hair. It balances it out. I, it is something about how the oils in the products, you know, help bring our hair into a wonderful state of wellness. There's a soap bar collection for the entire family to enjoy. There's, I think, between, I don't know, between 10 and 12 different types of bar soap. You'll have to check that out. There is deodorant, mountain mist and meadow mist, which everyone will enjoy. I personally actually just take some coconut oil and drop in some lavender, and that's what I use. But on really, really hot St. Louis days, I do have this in order to use to protect my body a little bit more. Beauty cleansers, toners, creams, oils, and more. Young Living has an entire collection called the Arts Line, as well as other creams and oils and serums in order for our bodies to have a youthful look on our face and skin. So if you desire to have a youthful look continuously, then I would suggest that you start using these products. This I started using this collection starting in January and it is amazing how my skin um, maintains a smooth feel as well as a um, more youthful look. You know, I'm three years to 40, and so each year I get to 40, my plan is to rewind the clock. And the way to do that is is not just with care products, but also with exercise and diet. So it's a full body thing, and I'm excited that Young Living has products to support that. So do-it-yourself recipes, recipes, home and body care products. So there are several ways that you can create your own products, especially with our um, Everyday Oil Collection and all of our other over 150 oils that we have. You can find those recipes on Young Living's blog, as well as I'm sure I could find some for you if you're like, you know, what can I make for this or that? I am not a huge do-it-yourselfer, but I have friends who are, so I'm sure I could help find you some recipes for you to create your own items. Who is in charge of your health? That's right, it is you.